Now, it's been a dramatic night for scientists controlling the Philae probe. Late last night, it re-established radio contact with Earth from the surface of Comet 67P. In the early hours of this morning, though, it ran out of power. The European Space Agency says it has managed to move it slightly in the hope that some sunlight will fall on its solar panels. But will the plan work? We're joined by astrophysicist Elizabeth Pearson now. Very good morning, morning. to you. Good morning. Do you want to bring us right up to date? So as it stands now, what condition is the craft in? Well, at the moment, Philae has gone to sleep. Uh, the hope is that uh, they've moved it slightly, they've rotated it, so hopefully it's in a bit more sunshine. So this means that its solar panels might be able to recharge a bit more. Uh, the plan was always to have 60 to 70 hours of battery life to do all of the core science. That's happened, that's worked. It's now just the cherry on the top, basically. Trying to get it to charge up a little bit more so they can get even more science out of it. Is it going to be left there? That's pretty much the plan. Uh, what might happen is, uh, as the comet becomes more active, uh, as it goes near, nearer to the sun, it's made of ice, it'll start to boil, you'll get lots of jets coming off, uh, it'll start forming that beautiful coma that people think of when they think of comets. Um, and when this happens... What, like a... A, a, a sort of halo of, of gas and dust. Um, and when you think of a comet's tail, that's what it is. Uh, but as this happens, there's a small chance that it might just vent Philae off into space. Um, but if that doesn't happen, then yes, it will just carry on sailing. And can I just ask a question? Because I'm quite interested in how the solar panels work. And mm -hmm. I know it's in standby mode, so like yes. when a TV goes into, mm -hmm. into standby. So if it was jettisoned off this comet, and how long may that take before it, that it, could, these it, jets? It could happen in a couple of months. It could happen never. And if it was off the comet and it had enough sunlight... Mm -hmm. Could it send data from while it's floating in space? Um, it could, but there'd be no one there to pick it up. Um, it only works, it uh, uses Rosetta, which is the orbiter around the comet. It uses that as a kind of relay station back to Earth. And Rosetta is quite directional. If it's not pointing in the right direction at the right time, it's not going to pick up a signal. Uh, that's why every night, um, well, every comet night, we lose the signal from Philae uh, because Rosetta's, the, the comet's in the way, and Rosetta can't reach the feli for the signal. So, feli lies dormant, and possibly that's a permanent situation. Mm -hmm. uh, what about the craft, the, the controlling craft? Can that do anything? Can that go anywhere? Can it do any more work? Rosetta is actually going to be the, it's the main workhorse of the mission. It was always meant to be. It's the one that's going to be doing the most amount of science, taking the most amount of data. Because feli, whilst it's fantastic and it's landed on a comet, and that's amazing, it can only ever study a tiny part of the comet, whereas Rosetta is going to be in orbit. It's going to be able to see the entire thing. So the, that work carries on? Yes, it's going to follow it as it goes, uh, the comet 67P, as it goes around the sun, and as it begins to become more active and as it begins to change, and it's going to watch it as it evolves. As a scientist and all the other scientists, are they happy with the way this has gone? I mean, there are always going to be little bumps in the road, but are they happy that they've achieved what they set out to do? I think very much so. so. This is a good news story, really. Yes, it is. Um, everybody seems to think that it's, you know, it's like, oh, no, it's, it's run out of batteries, it's dead. It's not dead, it's just sleeping. Um, but it's done what it wanted, went there to do. It's all of that science has been sent back, all of that data has been sent back, and now it's uh, going to be a months and years as they analyse all of that data and try and work out what this comet's made out of. Elizabeth, thank you very much. Thank you.